Hi, I'm Steve. You can call me Steve. I usually try to make these intros relatable, but I think we can skip that on this one, don't you? Dandruff is a medical condition that is, at worst, an annoyance. It's not a life-threatening disease like cancer or AIDS, or a life-altering condition like fibromyalgia or paraplegia. It is still rather embarrassing, especially if you like wearing black shirts. Fortunately, it's treatable with off-the-shelf products that don't require you to go to the trouble of getting a prescription, or if you live in the States, go bankrupt. The technical term for dandruff is dandruff. There's a more severe version called seborrheic dermatitis, although that's my best guess at the pronunciation because there are three vowels in a row there that should never go together. Any medical term that ends in itis indicates inflammation, and derm means skin. That other unpronounceable word means grease flow. The whole thing, therefore, means your skin is inflamed due to excessive output from your oil glands. It's much less common than dandruff, which is just skin flakes without the inflammation, so I'll focus on the dandruff. Let me emphasize that dandruff is not a result of poor hygiene. If you have it, you're not dirty or unwashed. If you see somebody else with it, they're not dirty or unwashed, so keep your comments to yourself. Everyone's skin is continuously flaking off. Skin cells are formed in the deepest layer of your skin and gradually make their way upwards as the layers above them flake off. Once they get to the surface, they die and get discarded. Normally, this cycle takes about a month. In dandruff, the growing and dying process can take a week, even as little as two days. However, the shedding process doesn't go any faster, so you have a logjam of dead, unshed skin cells, which eventually flake off in big clumps and land on your shoulders. Our current best understanding says that while there is a type of scalp fungus that eats hair oil and excretes irritating goo and seems to increase during dandruff outbreaks and that we've been blaming for dandruff up until a few years ago, recently we discovered that bacteria have a stronger influence than the fungus. I should point out that having fungus and bacteria living on you is perfectly normal. You'd be in much, much worse shape if they weren't there. I called this our current understanding because we don't have a complete grasp on it yet, and in 10 years we may realize it's something completely different. So how do we cure dandruff? We don't, if we take cure to mean make it not happen. We can treat it though, where treat means make the symptoms go away. There are a couple ways to go about this. One is to go after the fungus that causes the outbreak. Yeah, I know I said bacteria are more important. But we've only known that since about 2016, and we've been fixated on the fungus for ages before that, which is why all of the shampoos go after the fungus. These shampoos either contain organic things like ketoconazole, or inorganic things like zinc, pyrithione, or selenium disulfide. Some of these are also antibacterial, so they'll affect the bacteria that cause dandruff as well. I should add that selenium will not poison nitrogen-based aliens because that's not how chemistry works, and it's also highly unlikely that aliens will be nitrogen-based. The other treatment is coal tar. Yes, I know it's an industrial byproduct, but that means nothing. Coal tar causes skin to shed cells, which is exactly what your skin isn't doing fast enough during a dandruff episode. It helps get rid of the built-up flakes, and studies show that it's perfectly safe for short-term exposure especially since treatments are only like 1% coal tar and 99% stuff to help get the coal tar off once you're done using it. That's dandruff. It's a mostly cosmetic affliction that's caused by rapid skin cell turnover and not by failing to keep your hair and scalp clean. There's no cure, but there are cheap and effective treatments. Half the population has it, so if you've got flakes, you're in good company. Thanks for watching. I've been Steve.